welcome back to another video you guys today we are going to talk about my top fly fishing books and you're probably thinking to yourself why am i watching a video about books when you could just show me on video um, without having me read something but i think that books are the basis for a lot of learning and i know that it can seem tedious I and mean, kind of drawn out and not necessarily something you want to do but Books are really important, and these are the top five trout fly fishing books that I return to the most often to continue learning and continue studying. So these are just my opinion. These are suggestions. These are the ones that have had the impact on me. I'd love to know down in the comments below, you know, what are some of the books that you guys like that have had an impact on you. I'm sure there's stuff that I'm missing, and I always love reading a new book. So if there's something that I left out, please let me know. That'd be awesome. Anyway. The first book I want to talk about is this one right here, Dave Hughes, Tactics for Trout. This is the book that kind of started it all for me as a kid. Went to the library and checked this one out and read through it numerous times and just studied as much of it as I possibly could. And I recently found a copy of it at a local store and I just had to pick it up because it had been so long since I had read it. But just revisiting it, it's an awesome book. You know, it's, it's 30 years old, but most of the information in here is still relevant because it's about tactics and not about equipment. So there's still a lot of great stuff in this. Um, I think that there's like a few other books in this series for this one. This is just the one that I gravitated toward to because it's about tactics. I mean, it's not about like learning about where, you know, fish live in the river and stuff like that, but it's more about like how to present flies to the fish. So that's why I really like this one. So that's book number one, Tactics for Trout. Check it out, you should be able to get it real cheap somewhere. The next one that I journeyed to, I don't know, maybe four or five years ago, is this book right here called Bug Water. This is a really cool book about entomology and aquatic insects that trout eat on a day-to-day -day basis in lakes and rivers. It kind of covers everything. It's broken down by species and it gives like a really detailed overview as you're going through it about each species and then at the end of the chapter it kind of gives you some fly patterns that you know imitate those species this one is a total nerd fest though like if you don't care that much about entomology this is not the book for you this is like kind of a deeper dive into it which i enjoyed but if you you know that's book number two if you don't if you don't care that much about entomology and you just care more about like learning the basics for you know trout fishing i would recommend the bug book and this is basically a condensed smaller version of bug water um, and in this one it gives you again it gives you an overview of different flies but it focuses more on hatches their importance to trout and then also patterns specifically there's a lot of stuff in here that's like you know breaks down the, the insect and then it shows you uh, multiple patterns to kind of Im imitate that that insect and so it's just like a little bit more of like if you just want to know the basics of bugs to get started in trout fishing the bug book is your book um, and that's just kind of a bonus so I almost am calling those like 2a and 2b but I think it's important on your journey in fly fishing to know at least the basics for trout fishing insects at the basic level even if you just read this like as an overview, it's great. So this is book three. Um, this is Nymph Fishing by George Daniel, New Angles, Tactics, and Techniques. Um, I originally started with his first book, but I felt like I wanted to include this one in the list because it's, it's an updated version. And I think when it comes to nymphing and that technique, the newest, you know, the newest book you can get is the best because there are, there, as it evolves, it's evolving fairly quickly. So this one is great because it, you know, it's up to date. His first one was great too. The reason that I put this one on the list is because George covers all techniques. He covers, you know, indicator fishing, Euro nymphing. It, he covers a lot of it. He also breaks down like casting, how to, you know, cast in different water types and has detailed pictures of that, you know, kind of like this where it's like, it's really in detail. The other cool thing about it is that in the back he has kind of, like a top patterns section there with quite a few like really cool flies in there read through this one a few times it's a great update to the original where i started and if you are going to be nymph fishing 
this is your book. This is kind of like the Bible. So I'd pick that one up for sure. That's book number three. Book four is Tactical Fly Fisher by Devin Olson. And what's cool about this book is it's, it has a lot about your own imping, obviously, but it also covers different sections of rivers and how to fish different types of waters, whether it's a riffle or a pool or a glide. Um, and it kind of breaks down techniques. But at the start of the book, there's also a lot of stuff about rigging and how he rigs for your own nymphine and things like that and other techniques. And then in the back, he also includes, includes a few of his favorite patterns, which is cool. And that's always nice to have in there. But if you're looking for something that's breaking down, like how to approach water in rivers for different situations um, and how to read water, and how to be like think like with an adaptive strategy to where you are thinking about the conditions and the water type and all that that goes into it before you start fishing and you're really kind of trying to break that down this is the book for that you know it gives you a really great strategy for that and there's lots of just awesome diagrams and um, explanations and stuff in there so this one is a must-have um, if you're serious in fly fishing that's book four Book five, I had to include a streamer book in here. I really like streamers, some people don't, but I'm a big fan. This is Kelly Gallup's Update to Modern Streamers, which is the second version, Modern Streamers for Trophy Trout. Cool, cool book, lots of cool flies. He, he kind of you know breaks this book down at the start. There's stuff in there about how to fish streamers, kind of set up, tackle, things like that. And the cool part though, is that when you get in the back of the book, he's got examples of a bunch of different patterns of his and he kind of gives like a little explanation of the history kind of how to fish it and then there's a breakdown of all the materials for tying so this book is cool because it's kind of like a how to slash how to tie and it's you know written by the best guy in the streamer game so as, for, as far as trout are concerned and this is definitely a worthwhile pickup not sure what more what what much more to say there is about this one but Really cool book. This is book five, Modern Streamers for Trophy Trout. Great big book, pick it up. And then I know I told you guys that I would throw in some bonus books here. So these are a couple books that I didn't include in my first five, mainly because like this one, Presentation, Gary Border. This book is just really, really hard to find. It's out of print and it's super expensive. Like most copies you find are over $100, which I think is just kind of absurd. But what's the reason I tracked this one down and I ended up getting a pretty decent deal on it, but the reason that I picked this one up is because this is just like the first book in the list, which is the Tactics for Trout. But this one's about presentations for trout and it's like that book, but expanded. It's 300 pages, it's huge. It's got just an insane amount of detail. It's like a lifetime of detail in there. And I'm only part way through this one. That's the other reason I didn't want to put it in that first list. But if you can find a copy of this, I would recommend it. There's just super awesome knowledge in this one, but it's just a little bit harder to find. So that's a bonus. And then the other one that I wanted to talk to you guys about is that just came out, which is Phil Rowley's Orvis Guide to Stillwater Trout Fishing. And I felt like I couldn't include this yet because which I'm sure it's going to be an amazing book. It's full of diagrams. It's, it's just, it looks amazing. Just a crazy amount of knowledge in there, but I didn't feel like I could include it because I haven't even started on it. Just got it a few days ago, but um, that's another one I would recommend just flipping through. I can already tell that this book is going to be just, you know, like one to have around in your library and continue to go back to. So pretty excited to get going on that one. Anyway, let me know down in the comments, guys, what books, you're into right now. What did I miss? What do you like? Um, I'd love to hear from you. If you can, subscribe and hit that like button. Appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the video again next week. Catch fish.